Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family to the transfer explained of Wilfried Zaha to Paris Saint-Germain. First of all, we'll be looking at every single report linking Wilfried Zaha to Paris Saint-Germain. Then we're going to look at how he's going to line up potentially at Paris Saint-Germain, his wages at Crystal Palace, comparing him to some of our bench players and at last giving it a rating and a probability of this signing happening first of all here from fabrizio romano psg have indeed wilfred zaha on their list alongside marcus turam paris are working on both deals decision next week zaha prioritizes a move to european clubs justin psg have connected wilfred zaha he's seen as a market opportunity but there is competition especially from saudi arabia he is seen as a market opportunity i guess it has to do with him being African. Like that's the only thing I can think of. Him having fans in England? I don't really think so. So him being a market opportunity? Potentially, let's see. Luis Campos has been following Wilfred Zaha for a very long time and appreciates his qualities. Campos thinks he's able to bring the energy that was missing on some games last season. Talks have taken place in recent days to try to move forward. So obviously we have a competition from Saudi Arabia. We're offering a much higher wage but according to Fabrizio Zaha would want to stay in Europe and especially play for a big club like Paris Saint-Germain and compete in the Champions League with Zaha's market value of 27 million euros and his contract expires this summer which means he will be a free agent and will be for free to sign up for Paris Saint-Germain and he's 30 years of age these are his stats his non-penalty goals his shot total his assists his shot creating actions dribbles completed passing percentage and progressive carries <coughs> And Wilfred Zaha is a is a left winger, pretty much a left forward that can that can play like this. He will pretty much be a, the perfect bench option for Mbappe. Can play exactly his position and work in these two formations, either as a left winger or as a left forward. And here are his stats compared to Marcus Turam, who we're also linked with with Carlos Soler and Nikitiki, our bench players for this season. And as you can see by the stats, him and Turam come out on top. They are first and second in most single categories. And Wilfred Zaha is first in shot creating actions, dribbles completed, progressive passes received, and progressive carry is also second in non-penalty goals and touches in penalty area but my biggest thing about Wilfred Zaha is that there's a player that can play in that position that sure would cost 12 million but he's a 10 times better player and he's much younger and that is Xavi Simons he's better in non-penalty goals shots out to assists, shot creating actions dribbles completes and progressive carries I know that he plays in PSV, who are a much better team than Crystal Palace I know he plays in Erdovice which is a much weaker league than Premier League so the stats are not 100% the thing, but Xavi Simons is 10 years younger, has a connection with Paris Saint-Germain, and is a player that's going to become a big superstar in the future. So I don't really know why we're going for Wilfred Zaha when we have Xavi Simons available for us. And he would obviously only, yeah, he would cost zero. He's a free player. He would sign up for Paris Saint-Germain for free. <clears throat> and he has a 130k wage, which... Probably if he goes to Saudi, that bumps up to, like, I don't know, 300, 350k or something at PSG. He could settle for the same wage. I mean, it's his lost in tier in Europe and he wants to play for a big club. He's played pretty much in his entire career at Crystal Palace. And that's why I'm giving this a signing at 5.5. He's old. He's 30. He's, he's only going to get worse and worse and worse. Obviously, he's going to be a good bench option. And the probability of this is 7 out of 10 for me. I think Wilfred Zaha is very tempted and interested by the Paris Saint-Germain offer. Even though he would only be a bench player, I think Zaha would definitely be happy with being a bench player at Paris Saint-Germain with how his career has gone. I don't think he's won a single trophy, at least for Crystal Palace uh, and, and in, his, in his recent seasons. But as I said before, Xavi Simons is available, who is a much better player. I don't know why. But... Is it the worst possible thing to sign Wilfred Zaha? Absolutely no. I think he will be a very good substitute. And with him having physicality and dribbling, which are the, mo the two most important stats to be able to perform well in Liga and Uber Eats, I think this could be a good backup signing. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about Wilfred Zaha to Paris Saint-Germain? Yes or no? That's been it. Allez Paris!